Hello on my channel. Today I would like to guide you through the process how to compile OpenCV with FFmpeg 5 custom built from source. And uh, I failed with this process last time and the reason why I failed was most probably that I use OpenCV 4.6. 4.7 was not released that day. And then, in a released notes for OpenCA 4.7, you can find that FFmpeg 5.x is uh, supported. So, let's have a look and try this again. The whole step-by-step -step approach is described on the medium so you will find everything you need and what I will show you in the next slides on my medium post as well you can find everything on my blog it's uh, almost one-to-one -one content and uh, yeah that's it let's uh, have a start so I prepared a couple of slides because to wait stuff for once the FFmpeg is compiled or OpenC is compiled, it's just uh, it's just not worth it. Just uh, let's go through the exact commands we need to fulfill all the requirements and build both libraries with the needed support. So first, uh, we will get FFmpeg 5 source. We'll configure how this source will be compiled and link. Then we will have FFmpeg libraries on our system. Then we will get OpenCV 4.7 source, configure, build, and here we go, we are ready to start uh, coding our application for video streaming and video analysis using FFmpeg custom build and OpenCV 4.7. So first of all, we need to install some prerequisites for FFmpeg and uh, you can go through the FFmpeg compilation guide for Ubuntu 22. I, I'm using Ubuntu 22. So, uh, and uh, this compilation guide is so really very helpful. You know, we will find them all the prerequisites and settings, but uh, there are some certain points which uh, basically uh, are necessary to to succeed with the compilation of OpenC. So let's get started. I want some custom support for codecs. So I have here these two codecs uh, as well VPX and uh, some kind of prerequisites uh, just uh, for, for FFmpeg. And there are of course some uh, the basic one like CMake and uh, AutoMake built essential and so on. So there is a uh, various prerequisites installed by the standard commands on my system. Then, so the first step is to get FFmpeg 5 source and we will use standard command we get which will basically download the content of the star file, which is source code for FFmpeg 5.0.1. Then we need to extract the content of this file and enter the extracted directory. Yes, okay. Once we are in this directory, we have to configure how our FFmpeg5 
will be built. So we are configuring for this process. So it's dot configure and uh, there are some essential parameters of the configuration. So we would like to enable shared. Static are enabled by default, but uh, we have to enable shared libraries to be built. And uh, then I want to enable some codecs, what I install as a prerequisite. If your configuration process will complain that you are missing some of the prerequisites, you can disable them or install and configure again. So these are the steps. Do you agree? Do you agree? Okay. So once you hit and try to execute this command, you will, let's say, uh, FFmpeg configuration will give you the list of enabled and disabled features. So just verify that you have here static and shared set to yes, you know, and mm, you can as well verify that what you enabled as external libraries. So that's uh, almost it from configuration of FFmpeg. Really do not forget about the shared libraries enabled. That's essential. So now we have this process and starting building. So make and we will use J4. So I will use Fortress to make my FFmpeg. And uh, you know, there is much more messages than you can see here, but uh, this is essentially it. Nothing special. We will install the libraries and then just refresh the references to the shared libraries. So now after we use ally config with parameter v, we basically achieve this part. So download ffmpeg source, build ffmpeg and uh, install on our system. So now let's jump, now let's jump to download, configure and build OpenCV. So by the same command we get, uh, I will download OpenCV. Here it needs to be, let's say 7.0. So we will download OpenCV 4.0 source code. We will unzip the source code, cr create the build directory, and the enter the build directory, and then configure build of OpenCV 4.7. So this is easy. This is basically a set of steps you are doing again and again if you are building OpenCV with the, from the source for a new release and new release. So what is worth to verify is that uh, the video I.O. during the configuration, how OpenCV should be assembled, have uh, FFmpeg to yes, and there is as well the AV lips with the versions set to yes. So now we will build our libraries exactly with this video I.O. enabled. So we have configured OpenCV 4.7 and now we'll just use this command uh, cmake build dot and in config I will use release and as well j minus 4. Basically I will build my OpenCV libraries uh, and use for thread uh, for building. So now we are building OpenCV and we are just here. During this process, the FFmpeg 5 will be linked with OpenCV. There is as well much more messages than these ones. 
but basically you will hit 100% and hopefully without any problem to compile your video and module. So now we compiled OpenCV, we will use make install, so we will basically copy our libraries to different destination where uh, and uh, it's uh, that's it's just it and we can as well use ldconfig again to update uh, links to the shared libraries of our OpenCV and uh, by this we are done and we are ready to use our custom build of OpenCV with FFmpeg5 support. So once again, download source, configure, build, install, download, configure, build, and install. That's it. Everything what I just said you will found on my Medium blog and uh, on my blog. So let me know if you succeed with this approach. If there is any problem, uh, let me know as well. We can correct this approach. At the end, it slightly depends on what prerequisites you have installed on your system so I can have slightly different system than yours so you will hit most probably some different kind of errors but we can sort this out so let me know and uh, have a nice day